All right, welcome back again. So we're chugging right along. Uh, we've got our beautiful action sheet up. Uh, what we're going to work on this time is making a dialogue uh, to actually create a list. Uh, so that's our goal. Uh, we're going to use this dialogue for two reasons. We're actually going to use it for creating a list, and then we're going to like think ahead, and we're going to also implement it um, in the same video, actually, um, to update uh, a list as well. So our strategy, uh, we're going to make a method. Uh, we're going to call it show dialogue for list. I really shouldn't use the keyword dialogue because iOS doesn't use it. It's, it's an Android word, but eh, it's what I'm calling it. The idea is if we pass in nil, then it's going to be a create. If we pass in an actual list, then it's going to be an update, right? So you can update the title on the list object. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and call this method uh, from the right place. We'll go ahead and fire up our code again, get back into where we're at. Uh, so it looks like here's my create list. Oh, it says to do add buttons. I'm just going to delete that to do because we added buttons already. And then instead of uh, just doing a log, I'm going to say self uh, show dialog or list. Uh, and I'm going to pass in nil in this situation. Um, it's going to be really, really mad because that method doesn't exist, of course. Um, so let's go ahead and write it. Uh, so I'm just going to say void uh, show dialog for list. Uh, so it's going to receive a pointer to a list, which I'll call list to edit. It's like a lovely name. So what we want to do is, is similar to what we did before uh, in that we're going to use an alert controller. The difference is the style that we're going to use. Uh, so I'm going to say the same call that I did before, alert controller, uh, and I'm going to say alert with, uh, so same method. The only difference is that this time the style, uh, which I'm just going to hit enter on this word, is going to be um, alert. Uh, so that's going to make it look like a dialogue, right? For the title, I'm going to say either uh, create a new list uh, or I'm going to say uh, rename the list. And of course, I'm, I'm, I'm in ternary mode, right? So I've got to decide how do I know which of those titles I want to say. Um, well, it's just a matter of if list to edit is nil, then I want to create a new list. Um, and then if it's non-nil, then I want to say rename the list. Again, sorry about the flowing over lines. I, it's a pain to fix sometimes. As far as the message, uh, what I'm going to choose to do is I'm going to choose to just say the uh, title. Um, and then if nil, this is one neat thing about Objective-C, if it is nil, the dot title of nil, it doesn't crash your app like Java would do. It just silently returns nil, which is, which is kind of fun. It's called messaging to nil uh, is safe in this language. Uh, details, details, right? Uh, and then, of course, we want to present this uh, in an animated way, um, and I do not need a function to get called uh, when it's done. So now we've got the same kind of plan as we did before. So we're going to have to add, uh, in this case, a text field, uh, and then we're going to have to add a cancel button, uh, and then we're going to have to add uh, an OK button, right? So that's our strategy. Buttons work one way, they are UI actions. Text fields work differently. Uh, again, it's the exact same as what it was for Swift, if your memory happens to be good. Add text field, uh, and that's all you really have to remember. Add text field with configuration handler. I'm just going to hit enter there, uh, and then I'm going to hit enter again, just to let it autocomplete stuff. Um, and then what it lets me do is if I want to configure this text field in any way, uh, this is a great time to do it. Um, one thing that you could do is you could put it in a placeholder uh, and I'll just say name for this list. Great. Other things that I want to do is I want to add a cancel and an OK button. Oops, forgot a semicolon. Um, also, if you wanted to run it right now, you could. Um, it would be quite comical, right? So you click on create a list uh, and it would just be a title and then a dialogue with no, with no OK and cancel. I guess if you listen for the return key, um, then you could do something with that. But of course, we're, we're not, right? So we need an OK and a cancel button. Um, I'm going to cheat uh, because cheating is what I do best. I'm going to copy my cancel button from above uh, and put it right there. And this is crazy. I mean, that's the correct code, right? Which I think is kind of cool. Um, 
hey, can I play that game again? What if I stole the create list and I used it for the OK button starting point? Um, it's not as good, but it's better than starting from scratch. So if I wanted an OK action, uh, I could just write the words OK. Um, and then what we're going to do in here is we're not going to recursively call the function that we're in. Uh, we're just going to log uh, create uh, the list. You know what? We could even do better than that. We could print the name of it. Uh, let's go ahead and do this in two steps. Oh, I love this trick. If you put an enter right there, then that can help fix your, well, helped a little, um, help fix your line flows. Uh, so what if I wanted to grab the name that they type, uh, what I can do is I can actually grab the text field uh, from the alert controller. I think it's got an array of text fields. Uh, we'll just grab the first object. There's only one object, uh, so that should be fine. And then we can actually just print the text um, that they typed in, which is, I think is kind of fun. So if I say create list, um, and again, sorry I'm going like crazy fast, um, but it's a video, right? You can pause it if you need to pause it. Um, and the slides are also right there, right? So let's just say I wanted to create a list called my list, and I hit OK. Um, get a log, says create a list, uh, my list. Speaking of the slides, I should probably catch them up. Um, not really sure where they're at. Um, so there's the alert controller uh, running it with that. Uh, there's the cancel button. Uh, and then here's what we've done so far in, in the OK action. Great. So next up, let's actually do the OK action. Um, and so we actually want to you know do stuff with it. And so you can kind of see here in the slides, we're going to do something different. Uh, depending on whether the list was nil or not. And then at the end of that, we're going to save the context, right? So that's kind of the main thing. So let's go back into our code and actually do that. Uh, I'll comment out this line because we don't really need him anymore. And we'll just say if list to edit is nil, then we're going to be creating a new one. If it's non-nil, we're going to be editing the existing one. And then regardless, uh, at the end, call save context. For creating a new one, uh, I could type the code, but I happen to remember I've got some code up here, which is pretty similar to what I want, um, and I'm lazy. So I'm going to just put that right in there. Uh, that didn't work out as well as I was hoping, uh, but I can certainly bring it all the way over to the left and then uncomment it. So instead of list one, I'm going to call it new list. Um, I've still got this thing where I'm hard coding the entity name. I can't say that's great practice. I really should have made a constant out of that a long time ago. Um, but since I haven't thus far, I'm just going to keep writing it out. <laughs> and so what I want to do is this new list. I want to set the title on it uh, to whatever they typed in, right? So the text field text. So maybe I just have to create a new one. Uh, the other option is maybe the list to edit. Um, will get this thing instead, right? All right, see so what happens if I auto format. It looks terrible, which is fine. Um, cool, so we've just actually implemented create, right? So let's go ahead and see if they stick, right? So if I say create uh, and I say my list, voila, it's on there. Uh, it's alphabetical, so I guess I should do one at the start. Uh, a, A, A list. That'll be at the start. Uh, great. Comes in at the top. If you want to really be sure they, they've stuck, you know, stop the app uh, and then rerun it. Uh, still there. Super. Create is done. Uh, just because it's going to be short, though, let's go ahead and do update. Uh, just because it's, um, it's like two lines. Um, <laughs> always add something else. So it's two lines. Um, what we have to do is we have to show the rename buttons, and then we have to call this function if somebody clicks on a rename button. Um, and so it, it works out to be two lines. So showing the rename buttons, that's going to happen over in configure cell, uh, where you set the cell.accessory type. And a rename button is really a detail 
and a disclosure, right? So details like the little I and then the disclosure is the triangle. So when we're showing the rename buttons, we want a detail and a disclosure. But when we're not showing them, we just want the disclosure. Um, so that's one of our two lines. So let's go ahead and find, um, oh, I like this trick, the drop down, configure cell at index. So we'll just say cell dot accessory type. And that will be based on a ternary because I'm all about ternaries today. Um, so my options are, well, they start with UI table view cell accessory. I know that much. Uh, and then I can just see what my options are. Oh, there's a check mark. That's fun. Um, I want detailed disclosure, or I want a very similar thing. So I'm going to copy it. See how lazy I can be. My other option was disclosure. Uh, so there's my single line of code. Uh, one trick to make it auto flow a little better is to add a completely gratuitous parenthesis just to make it line up better. That made it two lines, uh, but I hope you're okay with it. What that should do is that should, when I say show rename buttons, they all show up. And then when I say hide rename buttons, they all hide. Uh, that's the first part. The next thing we need to do is we need to actually do something when they click that. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new callback. Uh, I'm gonna put it just below, um, I'll put it right below configure cell, that sounds good. Uh, this doesn't count as a line of code um, because it's uh, autocomplete. And it's the first first one, right? Accessory button tap for row with index path. Great. If they do that, if they click the accessory button, uh, we want to call our show dialog for list. Uh, and the list that we want to call it on is um, whatever list is at this index path, right? So. Up there, we saved it to a variable. Here, we just pass it straight into a function, right? So that's our, our second line. So one, one line to show them, uh, and then another line to actually call the method. And the cool thing is, is if we say show rename buttons, and then we click on one of these rename buttons, so I call it a rename button, um, then you could change it to, let's just say you made it a list. Uh, presto. Cool. Um, just like before, if you wanted to, you could auto hide uh, these guys. So like whenever you, you change it to, let's just say we changed it to uh, a list. This is kind of interesting. Lowercase, I think we'll jump to the end, which I think is, is funny. If you wanted to make it hide, this is an extra line of code, um, but I, I, I like it. Um, and what you can do is you can actually go in and whenever you did a title modification, you could just set show rename buttons to no and reload the table view. So I guess I have to actually find where I did all that. Uh, it was in the show dialog list right here. So in this case, I edited something. And so in this case, I want to say self dot show rename buttons. So I remember how to type. Uh, so I'll say no, do not show them. And then table view uh, reload data. By the way, I still hate that Swift didn't use yes and no. I think that is so lame. They used true and false. I can't believe they did that. So now if we want to show the rename buttons, we modify this one. We put it back to the top, a list. After we've modified it, all of our rename buttons go away. Cool. We've got a pretty functional app, right? So, I mean, if you click things, they, they don't do anything. But, I mean, you know, you can drag them to the left and delete them. Uh, you can delete list, you know, this way. Um, you can create new list. So this is new. Um, and then you can also um, rename something. And it all works hunky-dory. It's all saved to core data. So if I stop it and run it again, it's all saved forever and ever. Um, and it's going pretty, pretty darn well. So uh, the list view controller is basically done. Uh, really what we've got to do from here is we've got to start thinking about task um, and putting task in these different lists. All right, that's it. We'll see you next time.